Arguably Rembrandt's most famous piece is the company of Captain Franz Banning Koch, also known as Nightwatch. Now, the painting initially hung with several other huge group portraits, giving visitors to the troops' inner sanctum the sense of being surrounded by local muscle. It was subsequently moved in 1715 to the town hall, and in the process it was actually trimmed on all four sides to fit through the door. Really sad loss and one you can see in the portrait as we see unusual cropping, for example this drummer's only left with a nose in the front part of his face. It was first called Night Watch in 1897 when the varnish applied to protect the paint had become so old and stained that the picture looked like a nocturnal scene. That layer of varnish was removed long ago in one of 25 or more restorations and treatments the Night Watch has undergone over the years. The most memorable being in 1975 after a visitor to the museum attacked the painting with a knife causing severe damage traces of which you can see when you zoom in on the new composite photographs that are now available through various museums. This act of art his sorry an act of art historical sleuthing which is the digital photos primary purpose. So let's go back and start to look at the painting itself. What we have is the classic group portrait and we see when presented with six other works in the Musketeers Hall something very akin to well the archers of St. Hadrian. So we see the men preparing for the parade. In the center we see the leaders of the group and they're dressed differently. They're also standing separately from everyone else. Now they're preparing for parade not for battle and we see that in this very frantic energy. Everyone's kind of dressed a little bit different. You can imagine that situation getting ready for one of these uh, reunions. We have a dog in the foreground. That dog means fidelity. In this case fidelity to the group. Fidelity to the nation as it were. We see a series of pikes as well as this indoor setting of the hall itself. It's not actually happening at night. This whole piece is a daylight image. After all you don't generally see nocturnal parades. The men are portrayed scurrying around as they organize themselves giving us a sense of frenetic energy. Now Rembrandt at the same time manages to record the three stages of loading a musket uh, of firing a musket. So loading firing and readying and that's going to be key. These are musketeers after all not the kind that make a good candy bar but rather the kind that go out and use muskets as their primary weapon. And so as we look at it we will see that we see loading readying and awkwardly firing and you question that firing. Nope. He really is firing into looks like the back of the hat of one of the leaders but you can see the smoke and flame coming out of the musket. Now obviously Rembrandt is not suggesting that they go and shoot one of their leaders. Rather what he's trying to do is capture who these people are and more to the point their function when they were originally fighting for their nation. We also see this very interesting young woman. The young girl in the gold dress is not a member of the militia but is there as their shining symbolic mascot. The upturned feet of the dead chicken hanging from her belt represents their golden clawed emblem. So we've got a lot going on here trying to capture who the group is, their various personalities and he's very good at this. This is what we started with with Halls and his very informal portraits. This is really the high point of those informal portraits and you can see the complications that go into it.